So now let's look into the some of the examples of uh, correlation and then we'll wrap this up. So let's understand some real life examples and see what does a negative correlation mean and what does a positive correlation mean and what does no correlation mean at all. So the first example uh, for us is body fat and running time. So an individual's body fat tends to be lower the more time they spend jogging. In other words, there is a negative correlation between the variable body fat and the variable running time. So body fat decreases as running time increases. So this the body fat is inverse, inversely proportional to the running time. So these are the two variables which are inversely proportional and this leads to negative correlation coefficient. Then we have the second example which is exam results and TV viewing time. Exam results typically suffer when a student watches more television. In other words, there is a negative correlation between the variable amount of time spent watching TV and the variable exam grade. So exam results decline as TV viewing time increases. These are also inversely proportional and a negative correlation coefficient. Then the third example, height versus weight. The relationship between a person's weight and height is often good. To put it another way, bigger people often weigh more. So somehow you can say that it's positively correlated. Uh, if the height increases, the weight of the person also increases. That's what we're saying. But it may change. But but it's correct. It's correct. And the fourth example we have here is temperature versus sales of ice cream. The temperature and overall ice cream sales have a favorable association. In other words, since more people like to buy ice cream when it's hot outdoors, the company's overall ice cream sales tend to be greater when it's hotter outside. So the temperature, the sales of ice cream is directly proportional to the temperature. Hence, it is positively correlated and we will get the positive correlation coefficient. So in this, uh, we have learned about what correlation is and uh, 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 we have explored the correlation coefficients and their types. We also learned the Pearson product moment correlation and Spearman rank correlation with the formula and we have done some, uh, we have seen the examples of correlation. So now we'll be moving on to the covariance. 